Good day, everyone. Welcome to our virtual class in social studies. Today, we are going to discuss our review for midterm assessment, the last part, and I'm going to discuss with you the different parts of midterm assessment. This video is for grade 8A and 8B students, and your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. August 9, that will be on Monday class. It will be social studies for grade 8 midterm assessment in Google Classroom at 1 p.m. But I will schedule it at 12.45 until half past 2 in the afternoon so you will have time to finish your assessment. Good luck everyone! So class in social studies midterm assessment for grade 8 A and B, these are the pointers to review. What are you going to read? And what are you going to rewatch? Unit 1, Buddhism. Unit 2, who run our society. And Unit 3, protected by laws. Before we proceed with our review today, let's have a short recap or review of the last topics that we had. So the first one is Buddhism. What is Buddhism? Buddhism is a major religion or in a better sense, philosophy. It is the fourth largest religion of the world and has about 300 million people living by it. It explains the purpose of life, injustices, and inequality around the world. It also helps people by providing a way of life that will lead to true happiness. Who run our society? So class, in this topic, we have discussed the five social institutions one by one, which are family, education, government, economics, and religion. Objectives of the lesson. So the first objective of the lesson class, is students must be able to remember the past lessons from week 1 to week 12 for the preparation of your midterm assessment. So these topics are units 1, 2, and 3. For the second objective of the lesson, students must be able to know what to do before, during, and after the midterm assessment. So before, you have to review and re-watch all the videos that we have in Google Classroom. During, if you have any problem when you are doing your midterm assessment, you can always send me a message or you can call me so that I can answer your question and you can continue your assessment. After the midterm assessment, then I'm going to announce your scores. Our topic for today class is review for midterm assessment. These are the following words to learn. Number one, protect. Number two, law. Number three, youth. Number four, labor law. Number five, leash law. So when you say protect class, means keeping yourself away from danger. Law are things that you have to follow because if not, you will be punished in accordance with the crime you committed. Youth are people between the age of 12 to 20. Labor law is a law or a contract between the employer and employee. What are the things that an employer do for its employees and as well as employees responsibilities to its employer. Leash law is commonly and mostly done by pet owners because they are also affected by law. Not only humans, but also pets. Let us now discuss the last topic that is included in your midterm assessment, which is Unit 3, Protected by Laws. Laws are rules that made to help people live together in peace they tell people what they can and cannot do. They show us how to treat other people with respect. Yes, class, because of laws, we are able to live a peaceful life. We are able to control ourselves of the things we are not supposed to do. Countries often have different laws. Some countries have very strict laws about things which other countries do not really worry about. So not all countries have the same law. Class, okay some countries very strict some countries they are not strict at all or they 
this kind of law doesn't even exist in that particular country. So we, we have situations like that. Thailand has been a constitutional monarchy since June 1932 AD. So before 1932, Thailand is an absolute monarchy, meaning the power is in the sole monarch, only the monarch, okay? The king is head of state and the government is democratically elected. That's why you have prime minister, okay? And the prime minister is being voted by people, but the king, no, it inherited its power and throne and crown from the passing of his father. Next class, all laws are made by the parliament, then endorsed by the king before the enforcement. And laws help people live peacefully together. They must be obeyed by everyone. Anybody who breaks laws could face serious punishment or severe fines. So class, it depends on the crime you committed. If it's serious crime, serious punishment. If it's just like uh, no parking but you park your car, then you are just going to pay a certain amount of money as fine. Thai laws for youth. What are the different Thai laws for youth? Let's discuss one by one. Less than 20 years old are considered youth. So class, you are considered youth because you are just 13, 14 years old. ID cards are issued when you are 7 and is renewable every 8 years until 70 years old. So when you are already, when you reach the age of 7 already, your parents are going to uh, get you a Thai national ID card and you are going to renew this one every 7 years until you reach the age 70. You are not allowed to take out a loan without your parents' permission. So class, if you are younger than 20 years old, you are not allowed to take a loan. Take a loan means borrow money from the bank unless your parents permitted with you and go with you in the bank. Next, can make a fully legal will at 15. Next, can set you can set up and run your own business with your parents' permission. If you want to have your, your own business at uh, an early age, then you have to ask permission from your parents, okay? Because if not class, then the government is not going to grant you a business permit because you are still young to manage businesses. But if your parents permitted you, okay, then you can have your own business at a young age. Next, the last one, can get married legally at 17, but parents' permission is, is still needed. If you want to get married at the age of 17, that's okay, as long as your parents permitted you. But if not, then you are not, you cannot get married. So these are the different Thai laws for youths. Let us study the labor laws in Thailand. Maternity leave in Thailand is up to 90 days, but only 45 days are being paid. Uh, so in Thailand class, if you give birth to a child, you can take a rest for 90 days. You can take care of your baby for 90 days, but your employers are going to only pay you for the first 45 days. For the remaining 45 days, it will be unpaid. That is in the law of Thailand. Under 15 is illegal to work in Thailand. A person must be at least 18 to work legally. Before that, the employer would need to follow certain procedures according to the law. So under 15 plus is illegal to work. You are not allowed to work. But if you already reach the age 18, okay, you can work legally. But because you are still young, even if you're 18, your employers must follow a certain procedure on how to hire workers that are 18 years old next being under 18 a person doesn't have much work to do because you are still young even if you're 18 and he would put himself in danger with the authorities if they catch you working because you know already that it's not permitted but you still do it so you have to take the consequences of your action and the last one 
under 18, he can't work overtime too. That also breaks the law. So usually class, we work eight hours a day. If you are 18 under, then you cannot do overtime even if you still want. But if you're an adult like Miss MJ, you can do overtime and the company or your employer is going to pay for you. Last, let us discuss who else could be affected by law. Laws affect everyone, even family pets. So if you're a pet owner, you have to go to the local office government so that you will know what to do and what you cannot do when you have pets. Secondly, if you're a pet owner, you must find out what the local laws are for cats, dogs, or other animals that you have. Okay, because I told you already, ignorance of the law is Excuses no one. You cannot say this. Uh, you cannot say, I'm sorry, I do not know this. You cannot say like that class, okay? And no one is above the law. Next, some places have a leash law, which means you must walk your dog on a leash, okay? Or on a rope, on its neck connecting to your hand. So when your dog, uh, when you walk your dog with you and there is no, there is a slight chance of, the dog biting or hurting other people, okay? We do not want that to happen. That's, that's why we have leash law in Thailand. It's also important to know whether registration tags are needed, what shots are required, or whether you can keep a wild animal in your house. So registration tags class are basically ID or identification card for pets. Usually, you can find registration tags under their neck. Okay, so that when they get lost and someone uh, picks them up, then this person can call the owner. Okay, because in registration tag, the address is written, the house number is written, and also the phone number. So, these are the things about who else could be affected by law. Let me explain to you the parts of midterm assessment. Section A, multiple choice, 20 items, divide by 3 equals 10 points. So we have here example. It is the heart of Buddhism. So you are going to choose your answers from the choices given. And if you chose the triple gem, so just tick it like that, and it will be blackened. So you're not going to circle A, B, C, D. You're going to tick the circle and it will be blackened, meaning it is the letter of your choice. Section B, matching type, 10 items divided by 2 equals 5 points. So we have sample here. So the choices, family, society, it, it's written from the left side going to the right side. So for matching type, we have part 1, numbers 1 to 5, and part 2, numbers 6 to 10. It is composed of people from all walks of life. So what is the answer, family or society? So the answer is society, you are going again to tick this one and it will be blackened. Number two, smallest social institution, the answer is family. So you are going to tick this one and it will be blackened. So it means that is your um, choice, okay? That is your answer. Plus now for section C, short answer question. This one, I am very strict with this. Because wrong spelling is wrong. Example, one letter is missing, then that is already considered wrong spelling, so your answer will not be recorded. It will be recorded as wrong. It is the process of facilitating learning or the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, beliefs, and habits. So the answer is education. You're going to write education. Let's say you forgot letter I, education. So that is already wrong. I understand that your answer is education, but you misspelled it, so it will be wrong. So only five items, five items, okay? Next class, we have here, section D, fill in the blanks. Ten items divided by two equals five points. We have here an example. Blank helps remind people to do good deeds. So you are going to choose your answer, and the answer is religion. You're just going to click. Beside religion, and a tick mark is going to appear. And 
For the last part class, we have section E, reading comprehension. Five items divided by one equals five points. So example here, explain how you understood the government. Now class, in reading comprehension, you have to read the paragraph and you have to get your answer from the paragraph because this is reading comprehension. You cannot write your own answer. That's why I gave you paragraph to read so that I will know if you have understood the comprehension or um, the paragraph, okay? So, the answer is government makes and enforces laws in a country. So, here I'm very flexible. You can write your answers in here. Um, if you really do not know how to spell the word, say, then just write what you know, okay? And that is the end of our review. Good luck, everyone. Please read your books and rewatch all the videos that we have in Google Classroom. Class, it's time for us to say goodbye with each other. And good luck for your midterm assessment on Monday. I hope you read and watch all the videos needed so that you will pass your midterm assessment. Goodbye, everyone. Stay safe, and I'll see you again next week.